Over the past two and a half years of doing YouTube full time, I have had some really, really unique and exciting opportunities. I got to work with YouTubers, I got to work with crafters, I got to work with brands. And every now and then, there just seems to be that surge of excitement that'll just appear out of nowhere. And that's kind of the fun about this job. You never know what's going to happen next. I wanna share with you a quick little story of what happened back in August of this year. Story time. Just like any other day, I was looking through my email and one of these emails caught my eye and it was something to do with YouTube. I read through it and I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if this is even real, if this is a thing, because it seemed a little bit too good to be true. I happened to be in my buddy Brian's office and we were just talking a little bit about business for Little King. And I said, hey, I read this email the other day and uh, do you think I should respond to it? He took a look at it, he read through it and he's like, dude, you have to respond right away because that day was the last day to respond to this. So glad I did. It turns out that this email was asking me to be a part of this nationwide YouTube TV commercial. I didn't know what to say or what to do. Answered the email and it went smoothly. It was really, really cool talking with the people that were putting together this campaign. And to be asked to be a part of something like this, this big, like YouTube was, it was just one of those moments where I was just like, all right, this is, this is it. This is, this is, this is good. So I just wanna share with you my experience of being part of a, a commercial with crazy cameras, lighting, you know, a crew of 65. Um, it was just really fun. And I think you would appreciate uh, seeing behind all of what goes on in those crazy shoots. I'm going to share the actual commercial at the end of the video. And I just want you to experience what led up to those final shoot days and uh, just what was the end product of all that hard work. So sit back and enjoy. We're on our way to Mississauga, which is just outside of Toronto, and we're going there because I have to take a COVID test. Anytime you go on a production set, you need to have a negative test. So, I mean, hopefully get a negative test, which I know we're hoping for. It's one of those things that I just hate doing, but it's necessary. It's pretty cool. We're actually near the airport. Check that out. I thought this was a drive through but it's not. We gotta go to this trailer thing. It's specially done for production stuff, so it's not a regular COVID testing site. I, what's really cool is that today, combined with this kind of whole COVID test, I'm going to a production sound studio to do some voiceover for the commercial. So I'm really excited about that because originally it was not gonna be my voice. It was gonna be some other person's voice, but the higher ups at YouTube were like, nah, we need Ryan to do it. So. I'm just super stoked to be able to, to, to do this, first of all, but to have my voice too is, man, I'm, I'm stoked. So we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> that is so uncomfortable. Yeah. Ooh, thanks a lot. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Okay. I appreciate it. It went in very well for yeah. something very uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I'm tearing up like crazy. I think that touched my brain a little bit. Tickled my brain. That's, that's, that's not nice. I don't like that. Soundworks, sweet 200. Finally there. All right, so we're finally in the studio. Uh, stoked to be here. Got my headset ready, got the mic ready. I've never read the script yet, so it's gonna be maybe a challenge, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I don't think we're allowed to be in here, so we'll see you later. I worked as an electrician for about a decade, but my passion for leatherworking brought me to YouTube, where I grew my skills by watching experts. All right, so it is day one. Actually, this is more like day four for me because I've done so many different things to prepare for this shoot. But day one of actual stuff going on over at the shop. So the main idea or premise of this video commercial shoot is showing the transformation of me being an electrician into what I now do currently full time, leather crafting. All of this stuff in this shop, we have to dress so it looks like an electrician workshop instead of what it looks like right now. So the guys outside, they're preparing all the stuff that needs to be brought from those trucks in here um, so they can make it look, you know, not so much of what it looks like right now, if you get what I'm saying. So these are some of the props that are gonna be in my shop. Like, look at this stuff. You wouldn't think that one day this would end up 
in a commercial shoot if this was just hanging out in your garage. Gasoline. Like an old radiator? <laughs> wow, this is gonna be cool. I love these antique tool chest looking things. Wow. That's cool. This is the Little King Goods garage sale. If you guys want to buy any of my equipment, you know where to find me. You know, I kind of dig these tables more than what I got. <laughs> the little switcheroo. That is nice. It's finished. They've set it up to the way they want it. I'm sure they're gonna tweak it as they, uh, as they come on set and figure out how things are gonna work, but I'm just gonna show you a little sneak peek of uh, the set here at Little King Goods if I were an electrician. So there you have it guys, the wrap on day one of all the setup and all that juicy goodness. All of my stuff's packed up in these tents. Looks like a huge circus or carnival. <laughs> all this stuff set up on the front here and uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. So I'm gonna go home, say hi to my kids and wife and hopefully get some sleep today. Maybe not, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's the day of the shoot today and they promised a circus and it's definitely a circus so this whole road it's uh, about seven o'clock in the morning this whole road is already piloned off as far as the eye can see and we got all these trucks full of film equipment sound equipment lighting equipment everything you can imagine and it's all happening in my tiny shop i'm still blown away uh this whole process is just crazy so We'll see, we'll see what today's gonna be like. These guys are just setting up the techno dolly. This is gonna be that time-lapse, time-lapse machine. They weren't kidding, this thing's huge. So basically what that machine does, it just recreates the same camera move every time so that they can do a really cool time-lapse of this shop changing from this electrical shop into a leather craft shop. And so we're gonna see how it goes. There's gonna be lots of takes, lots of patience, and uh, in the end it'll turn out really good, so. I'm excited for that. All right, I am Electrician Ryan. This is my getup for today. Uh, well, one of them. I've got my overalls, I've got my dirty work boots that I no longer wear anymore. And now I'm just waiting to be called onto set. I'm super nervous, I don't know. I'm in front of the camera all the time, but not these cameras. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. This is my wardrobe trailer, washrooms, other trucks. I have no idea what the heck they're doing here, but. And then this is where the talent sits. I've met a few cool people. They've been flown in from Winnipeg, Vancouver, you name it, uh, all over the place from Grimsby. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. We'll see, uh, see what the madness ensues or incurs or, you know what I'm trying to say. This is basically wardrobe. Uh, all of these clothes, well, not all of them. Most of them over here, I'd be switching into. Uh, I have to change wardrobe pretty much every single take. And so that's super fun, uh, especially in the hot, hot weather over here. Sometimes I have to wear crazy sweatshirts and very uncomfortable clothes, but it's all part of the gig. It's all part of the job. Change room, fun stuff. So now they're just doing the set change. Changing everything back to what it was. Uh, did you want to play back My sewing machines are slowly going back in. All this stuff is being back to what it was. And the wonderful people helping me. <laughs> They're doing all the hard work. Here's the blue screen. It's going to be changing seasons, like I said. Pretty cool little, little setup.
I worked as an electrician for about a decade, but my passion for leatherworking brought me to YouTube, where I grew my skills by watching experts. Now, I'm the expert. I use YouTube to connect with my customers and grow my business. It's kind of incredible to think that what started as a hobby is now my full-time career. Well guys, that's a wrap. The whole day was crazy, it was fun. I got to do a lot of things I would never normally do. It's done. I didn't really get to shoot a lot of the stuff inside for obvious reasons, uh, but it was good. For now, I'm gonna go home, say hi to my wife, say hi to my kids, and just sleep for maybe a couple days. I just wanted to lastly thank all of you. Thank all of you for watching. Thank all of you for participating and commenting and liking and making this a real thing. It's crazy what can happen if you follow your passions. It's crazy that all of this started in, in, in a small little tiny electrical room. And now I get to share my craft with the entire world. I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys. This is the 100,000 subscribers plaque. I felt like for the longest time, I just didn't deserve this because it just came too quick. But then you might know him, Peter McKinnon. I had a conversation about this with him and he said that people would not subscribe if they didn't like what they saw. So I guess that's true. So thank you. I share this with all of you guys. This is not just for Little King. This is for all of those subscribers and all those people who have helped me along the way. So. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And God bless. Peace.